I really was hoping the lighting would be better, but it's a really shitty rainy day and I'm getting ready to go to work. And I dropped my energy drink on the ground and it exploded. So there, there's our uh, tone for the day. But I woke up this morning to a series of comments from one person. And I know what you're thinking, Shay. Just ignore it and move on. But I need to address something. Um, first of all, because I'm not embarrassed, nor am I ashamed. Second of all, for educational purposes. And third of all, because maybe somebody needs to hear it. Maybe somebody is going through it as well. And they need somebody to look at and say, hey, they're going through that. Maybe it'll make them feel a little bit better. So the comment that I got this morning was from a man asking me what I look like without a wig. Before anybody comes to his defense and says, well, maybe maybe he's not mature enough, this, that, and the other, to know that that's highly inappropriate. Well, that's invalid. And let me tell you why. He leaves me comments all the time. And this morning it was comments uh, letting me know how he believes I can improve my content, starting with editing my videos less. Now I don't know I don't know how to explain to everybody that I don't edit my videos a lot. The program that I am using right now on my phone, you hit a record button, you stop. You hit a record button, you stop, and it's immediate. If you watch a lot of my videos, the very tail end of my sentences will be sometimes cut off because that's just the way that iPhones work a lot of times. And this program, I think it makes it worse. But he was like, you're, you're hilarious when you're laughing and telling jokes. And I would love to see what was happening before that and what was happening after that. You shouldn't edit those parts out. And it's like, if I didn't hit record at all, I wouldn't even catch that moment. And honestly, I'm not going to sit there and fill up my memory with eight hours worth of uh, just bullshit mundane things that I would have to edit down anyways. And, and to further get into that, there's a lot of people on YouTube who will take like one or two days a month and record their entire day, break it up into eight minute videos for AdSense, schedule it out, and then take the rest of the month off. So when you're watching their vlogs and their videos and whatnot, what's happening in the video is, is it's already passed and it's irrelevant. I don't do that. I make a video and... Um, I post it the same day. If you've ever noticed how sometimes I'll post two videos in the same day or three videos back to back, it is because I recorded them and I post shit as soon as I record it. In fact, I'm probably going to re record this and post this and it'll just have to upload on data because I'm getting ready to go to work. But we need to go back to the wig thing. This is not something that I am embarrassed or ashamed of, but it is an autoimmune disease. So therefore, you asking me what I look like without a wig is inappropriate. It's inappropriate for any reason. If somebody's wearing a wig because they like it or somebody's wearing a wig because they need it, like me, it's still highly, highly inappropriate. Autonomy over one's body and one's wallet, you know? But the thing is, I've had alopecia since I was in my late teens. I think I started to develop it around the age of 18 or 19. Sometimes I have hair, sometimes I don't. Um, Right now, my hair is about to right above my shoulders. Um, it's black, it's curly, and it has like streaks of gray in it. But the point is, asking me to remove a covering on my body so that you can view me vulnerable and without it is inappropriate. There's no way to spin it so that it's not. If you can tell somebody is wearing a wig, if you can tell somebody's wearing hair extensions, any of that shit, I don't know how to tell a, an adult that this is inappropriate to bring it up. You will never see me on my YouTube channel without a, without a wig. I post myself on TikTok without a wig, but you will never see me on my YouTube channel without one because my hair comes and goes. It comes and goes as it pleases. I have not had any hair loss in about 14, close to 15 months, but that doesn't mean that I won't. And my alopecia comes in the form of sometimes I will lose like golf ball sized uh, chunks of my hair and sometimes I will lose all of it. And it just does it whenever it feels like it and it comes in waves. I have these little like remission 
phases and then I'll wake up the next morning and there's hair all over my pillow and there's nothing that I can do about it. It is a literal fucking medical condition. It is an autoimmune disease where my body attacks my hair follicles as if they are foreign and dangerous to my body. There's nothing I can do about it. There's nothing that I can do about it. And I have been wearing wigs for over a decade, about a decade and a half because of it. And I don't owe that explanation to anyone. I don't have to address this at all, but the thing is that it's very common. Like alopecia is very common. And in men, you can just shave your head. And in women, that's a little harder to do. I know gender norms, blah, blah, blah. But it is harder to do when you are a woman. And the thing with me is I'll go through these phases. It's like a cycle. Uh, my hair usually... Uh, falls out on the sides of my head and I'll shave my hair into a mohawk and then when it starts to completely fall out I'll just shave my whole head but that's why that's why I wear wigs and my hair underneath of my wig generally speaking unless I'm wearing like a very like colorful you know wig like my split dye wigs or my orange wig i keep my wigs as close to my real hair as possible and to be honest with you where i work people that have known me my whole life come in all the time and see me and they don't have any idea that i'm wearing a wig because my hair in my wigs looks like my natural hair it is long and dark and curly and that's how i looked when i was younger that's how they knew me but yes my hair is black it's curly and there are streaks of of silver gray in it that's all there is to it think mother gothel when she's aging terribly but it's inappropriate it's inappropriate to ask people questions like that. Sometimes people need to be checked. You don't ever, ever, ever say something like that. You don't ever ask somebody to remove a covering on their body so that you can view them better. Uh, and you don't ever ask somebody why they're why they're wearing a wig. You have no fucking idea. What would you do if I would have came on here and said something absolutely worse? I'm a public figure. I have chosen to make myself a public figure. And the reason that I decided to talk about this is one, there's not, I, I'm not ashamed of it. It's not embarrassing. It's something that a lot of people deal with. And two, because it's, some people need to be checked. Some people need to be checked. Anyways, I got, I dropped my goddamn energy drink walking out of my house and I didn't want to have to stop for coffee but now I have to but I'm gonna sit here in my car and edit this I'm sorry I'm gonna edit this because there are multiple parts in it where I'm stammering really badly with my words because that's also something that I do I stammer really badly when I think about things um stutter and, and all that shit I'm gonna I'm gonna cut a couple pieces of it up and upload it so I'll see you guys later if my mood gets better. Bye.